okay now visible okay good let's start now if the ninth ninth term of an ap is zero which term is zero ninth term of an ap is zero then show that 29th term is twice the term okay for an ap let a be the first term and d be the common difference d is the common difference then what is given ninth term is zero means what t9 is equal to zero correct t9 is equal to zero okay now what which formula we are going to use here now tn correct the measurement tn is equal to what is tn tn is equal to a plus one d okay we know that tn means t9 is equal to a plus n is 9 minus 1 d 9 minus 1 8 t9 is what 0 so 0 is equal to a plus 0 is equal to a plus 8d means what 8 a plus 8d is equal to 0 that is the equation number 1 okay but what we will do we will take 8 to the and the side so it will become minus 8 that is a is equal to minus 8 d so it will become equation number 1 is it clear now after this t19 is equal to again of same t19 is equal to what it is t9 equal to a plus 19 minus 1 d 19 minus 1 is 18 so t19 is what a plus 18 d correct but we know a what is a a is minus a so we will substitute that value in the place of a so it become what it will become minus a d plus 18 d so what is 18 minus 8 that is 10 d means t19 is equal to t19 is equal to 10 d correct and t29 is equal to a plus 20 min 29 minus 1 d 20 min 29 minus 1 is what 28 correct so a plus 28 d you know what is a that is to minus 8 d plus 28 d so 28 minus 8 t 29 is equal to 20 d correct now when 20 d we get then we will take 2 into 10 d okay what we will take 2 into 10 d we will take a factor 2 into 10 29 is equal to 2 into 10 d okay 10 d we know what is 10 d it is t19 correct from second second so it will become like this way t29 is equal to 2 into t19 so 29 term is twice into 19 term okay so 29 term is twice the 19 term let's start the exercise 3.4 okay on 1st jan 2016 on 1st January 2016, Sanika decided, what she decided? Sanika decides to save rupees 10, rupees 11 on second day, rupees 12 on third day. If she needs to save like this, then on 31st December 2016, what would be the total saving so that we make a party? on 31st December okay so let's see what Sanika saves 
a party or to help her family okay as we know that here it is not mentioned but we should know 2016 was a leap year all of you know what is leap year how many days are present in the leap year okay very good all come with prepared correct let's see on 1st jan 2016 sanika said rupees 10 next day she said rupees 11 third day she says rupees 12 her total saving becomes rupees 11 plus 12 plus till 31st december so what we have to decide we have to decide that what is a what and what is n correct so a is 10 d is 1 n is 366 why we are taking 366 because 2016 was a leap year okay so we are going to use because n is used because n is given so we are going to use sn formula directly is it clear what formula we are going to use sn okay let's see sn is 2a plus n one d now substitute the value n a and d so s 366 s 366 is equal to 366 upon 2 in the bracket 2 into 10 plus 366 minus 1 into 1 so when we divide 366 what we get 183 damage yes i think you are ready to come with sir and whatever challenges i am giving you are going to take accept it correct okay so 366 divided by 2 is 183 correct damage so 183 in the bracket 20 because 2 into 10 is 20 and then 360 one that is 365 so 365 plus 20 what becomes tell me 20 plus 365 yes correct 385 so 183 into 385 what is that yes correct that is equal to 70455 so at the end we will write hence her total saving would be would be rupees 70455 so you can also start saving like this way at the end of year you will get 70455 because our next chapter is financial planning so before that i am giving you this question so you that you can plan this year and you know how this year is going on okay let's move to the second question now okay a man borrows rupees eight thousand okay if you have saved some money you have to give also if you are not safe you have to borrow also a man borrows rupees 8000 and agree to repay with a total interest it is repay okay repay with a total interest of rupees 1360 in 12 months installment you know what is installment you know an installment sometimes you also taking money from your friends correct na okay so in 12 months installment each installment being less than the preceding one 
by rupees 40 preceding means what tell me first what is preceding first no one is replying yes 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 the mesh only replying okay the mesh today is your day okay so being less than the preceding one means whatever previously given that amount is less by 40 rupees find the amount of the first and the last installment so we have to find out the first installment and then we have to find out the last installment so what money a man borrows rupees 8000 correct total interest 360 that is given correct total money he will pay after 12 months so what we have to do we have to add 8000 plus 1360 okay so it becomes what it becomes 9360 is it clear many students are also replying don't worry so it gives that each installment what is the installment each installment is being less each installment being less than the preceding one by rupees 40 so d is what minus 40 n is what 12 s 12 is what 9360 Okay, wait, wait, student. Okay. So each installment being less than the preceding one by rupees 40. So we should know what is D, what is N and what is S12. Okay. Okay. So let's see after that SN, what, which formula we are going to use now? SN, write down the formula first. Neha, write on the formula first. Sn is equal to. Okay, no one is replying. So I will write. Sn is equal to n upon 2. 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. Now substitute the value first. S12 is equal to. S12 is equal to. 12 upon 2. 2a plus 12 minus 1 into d so s12 is given that is 9360 is equal to 12 divided by 2 is 6 2 a minus 12 minus 1 is what 11 11 into minus 40 so 11 for the 44 minus 440 correct minus 440 so we have to find out here a because we have substituted all the values so let take six to the and the side okay let's start Okay, so 2a is equal to minus 40. 6 will go and divide there. Huh? 
I have multiplied my slide, but it is go. It will go there and divide. Okay. So two a is equal to minus four forty is equal to uh, dividing by six, one thousand five hundred sixty. Okay. Then minus four forty will move to the right side, and it will become plus. Is it clear? So two a is equal to. 1560 plus 440 so add it fast it becomes 2000 because 2a is present so 2 will go to the right side and it will divide so a become what a become 1000 so a is what 1000 so a is our first term correct a is our first term so let's see what is our 12th term you can write down t12 or a12 does it matter so 1000 plus 11 because 12 minus 1 into d so 11 into minus 40 correct so it becomes 1000 minus 440 Thousand minus four forty. So what is thousand minus four forty? Five sixty. Is it clear? Five sixty. Is it clear? The first and the last installment are rupees thousand and five sixty respectively. In this way, you have to write. Okay. Shall we move to the next question now? Up to here, you understood? Okay, very good. Okay, then come with me and let's start the question number three. Sachin invested in a national saving certificate scheme. In the first year, he invested rupees five thousand. In the second year, rupees seven thousand. In the third year, rupees nine thousand, and so on. Find the total amount that he invested in twelve years. Correct. So, before to learn financial planning, how to invest, it is taught to the third chapter itself. Okay. Now, Sachin want to invest. So Sachin invested in a national saving certificate scheme. In the first year he invested rupees five thousand. In the second year he invested seven thousand. In the third year he invested nine thousand. Means the investment is goes on increasing, and so on. Find the total amount that he invested in the twelfth month. Correct. In the twelfth month. Let's see how we are going to solve. Okay. First year, what in uh, first year what he invested? Tell me first, five thousand. Second year what he invested? Second year, seven thousand. Correct. Third year, nine thousand. Correct. So total investment in twelve years. Total investment in the twelve year, five thousand plus seven thousand plus nine thousand plus dot dot dot. Because we don't know after this in twelve years, okay? So what we should know here, we should know what is A, what is D, and what is N. So we know what is A, what is D, what is N. Correct? Now write in the chat box what is A. Yes, Sahil has written first. D. Correct. N. N N N fast twelve. This T has written. Okay, very good. So we know what is A, we know what is D, we know what is N. Correct. So let's start the next finding. Okay, means how many amount, total amount he invested in twelve year. Okay. So which formula you are going to use here now? Because we know A, we know D, we know N. Bhumi, wrong. Sanskriti has written. Okay, Bhumi. 
so we are going to use sn why we are using sn now here because n is given and if n is not given then we are using tn formula first to find out the n okay let's start ready na okay come sn is equal to sn is equal to sn is equal to n upon 2a 2a plus n minus 1 d okay s n upon 2 i have not written but you have to write sn is equal to okay so v n what is n 12 divided by 2 here it is divide okay Here it is twelve divided by two, two a plus twelve minus one d. Is it clear? So s twelve is equal to twelve divided by uh, two is what six, correct? And twelve minus one is what eleven. Eleven into two thousand twenty two thousand, correct? Let's see now. So S twelve is equal to six into five thousand into two ten thousand plus twenty two thousand. Now I told you how twenty two thousand comes, correct? So add twenty two thousand plus ten thousand, it becomes thirty two thousand. Six into thirty two thousand. Now six into thirty two thousand. Fast six into thirty two thousand, it becomes one lakh ninety two thousand. Six into Thirty-two thousand. It becomes one lakh ninety-two thousand. So only such invest in this way. Okay. Okay, Piyush. So what at the end we have to write? We have to write that the total amount that such invested in the twelve years is one lakh ninety-two thousand. Okay. Let's start the next question now. You are ready? Up to here, you understood? Sure. Come on now. Let's come now. Green season is there. We cannot go out, so we can come in the mobile. So come in now. Fourth question: There is an auditorium with twenty-seven rows of seat. There are twenty seats in the first row, twenty-two seats in the second row. Are you remembering when you go in the movie hall? Correct. So their rows are present in that. Like that, in that auditorium, twenty-seven rows of seats. There are twenty seats in the first row. 22 seats in the second row 24 seats in the third row and so on so what we have to find we have to find the number of seats in the 15th row and also find how many total seats are there in that auditorium correct so by taking the name of auditorium you are remembering st anthony's convent high secondary school auditorium when you sit There, ninth standard, tenth standard, all can sit there and talk there. Correct, na? So you are missing the Saint Anthony's Auditorium. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. This hard time also will go, and good time also come. So let's see the question. How many rows are present? How many rows are present now? Tell me fast. How many rows are present now? Twenty-seven. Sanskriti. Correct. Total number of rows. Twenty-seven. Number of seats in the first row. Number of seats in the first row. Who had written twenty-two? Kushi. Kushi. It is not twenty-two. It is two. Twenty-two zero twenty. twenty. Number of seats in the first row twenty, correct? Now number of seats in the second row fast, yes twenty two. Number of seats in the third row 
24, correct? So total number of seats, 20 plus 22 plus 24 plus plus up to 27 row. So what we know from this, we know what is A, what is D, and what we know? Tell, tell, tell. Okay, let's see what we have written. That is correct or not? So we know what is A, that is 20. We know what is D, that is 2. And we know what is N, that is 27. So which formula you are going to use now? First, SN. Okay, why you are using SN? Piyush, who had written? Kushi Shukla has written TN. Kushi beta, we are going to use SN. And why we are using SN? Kushi, tell me now. N is given. So we have to use SN. Okay, understood now? Kushi, you understood now? Okay, let's start. Sn is equal to Sn is equal to again we have to use the formula n upon a 2a plus n minus 1 d. You have to make correction in this slide. Okay? So S is equal to S27 is equal to 27 upon 2 because we know n is 27. So 27 upon 2, 2 plus 27 minus 1. D. Now substitute the value. Okay. So 27 upon 2. 2A. We know what is A. A is 20. So 2 into 20 that is 40. 27 minus 1 is 26. And we know D. D is 2. So 26 into 2 is what? 50. Correct. So 27 upon 2. In the bracket. 40 plus 52. 40 plus 52. 40 plus 52 is what? 92. Now divide by 2. Because 27 upon 2 is there. So 27 upon 2 into 92. What, what becomes when 92 is divided by 2? Very good. That becomes 46. So 27 into 46. What is that? 27 into 46, 1,242, very good. There are 1,242 seats in the auditorium. See how much auditorium, big auditorium is there. That 1,242 seats are there. Okay, now we have to see how many seats are present at the 15. Correct? That position, how many seats, are, uh, number of seats are present. Now we are going to use T15 is equal to, okay? T15 is equal to A plus minus 1D. 15 minus 1 is what? 14. D is what? 2. 14 into 2. 14 into 2 is what? 28. We know A. A is 20. 20 plus? 28 is 48. Therefore, the number of seats in the 15th row is 48. Okay? Yes, 48 seats are present on the 15th row. Is it clear? Shall we move to the next question now? First, today we want to complete this exercise. Okay, now 15th row is present. Uh, the number of seats in the 15th row is 48, correct? So Sn is equal to, the same again, it is like this. Total seats in the auditorium are 
1242 okay now question number 5 question number 5 kargil temperature was recorded in a week from monday to saturday all readings were in the ap the sum of the temperature of monday and saturday was 5 degree of fifth more than the temperature of t uh, tuesday i think it is 50 degree more the sum of temperature of tuesday and saturday if the temperature of wednesday was minus 30 degree celsius then find the temperature of the first 5 day okay because all the reading are in the ap let the first term is a common difference is d okay first term is what a 5 degree okay it is 5 degree okay uh, temperature of monday is a temperature of tuesday is a plus d that way we are going to take okay so temperature of monday is a temperature of tuesday is a plus d okay temperature of wednesday is what temperature of wednesday is what a plus 2d temperature of thursday is what a plus 3d okay temperature of friday is what a plus 4d temperature of saturday is what a plus 5d it is d okay 5d is it clear up to here it is clear okay so we have to add it now because it is said that the sum of the temperature of monday and saturday was 5 degree more than the temperature of temperature of tuesday and saturday okay so let's see friday a plus 4d saturday a plus 3d that we have written now come to The sum of the temperature of Monday and Saturday was five degree more, five degree Celsius more than the sum of temperature of Tuesday and Saturday. So a plus a plus five d is equal to. You can see it properly, na? A plus a plus five d is equal to five degree more means five plus a plus d. Plus a plus five d, so it becomes a plus a is what two a plus five d is equal to five plus a plus a two a plus six d. Okay, now as usual, two a will be cancelled. Correct? Because two a in the at the left side also present, two a at the right side also also present. So two a two a will be cancelled. Is it clear? Now, what will remain if two eighty is cancelled? Then six d minus five d six is present. Six a minus five d is equal to minus five because five is present to the six d side and six d is present. So five d will come to the right side and. I will come to the left side, so it become minus again. So six d minus five d is what? D d is equal to what? That is equal to five. Sanskriti, what happened, beta? Where you not understood? Sanskriti, where? At which point? At which point? Tell me the point. Okay, let's start again. Let's start again. Okay, let's start again. No problem. Let's start again. How many days are present in a week? How many days are present in a week? Just you tell me. How many days? Six days we are going to take, na? From Monday to Saturday. It is six. Monday and Monday to Saturday. Okay, we are not going to take Sunday. Okay, six days. Okay, now we said that. Read the question properly. Okay, we'll move to the question first, so that you understood. Okay. Okay. 
see the question properly kargil temperature was recorded in a week from monday to saturday it is mentioned monday to saturday monday to saturday how many days six days okay all reading well in ap all reading is like in ap no problem is there the sum of the temperature of monday and saturday it is present in ap so we have to write in such a way that it should be in ap if we can take any numbers it cannot be in ap so to represent in an ap what we are doing we are suppose we are taking monday's temperature is a so we are taking tuesday's temperature as a plus d because we have to take the common difference also na if common difference is not present how the question how the numbers will be in ap some rules should be there to become an ap yes or no correct sanskriti yes so we are writing the temperature in such a way that they are present in ap so what is that rule that rule is first term is a common difference is d correct so temperature of monday is a so what will be the temperature of tuesday a plus d correct then what will be the temperature of wednesday sanskriti what will be the temperature of wednesday a plus d plus d d plus d is what 2d correct what is the temperature of thursday first what is the temperature of thursday that is a 3d temperature of friday a plus 4d temperature of saturday a plus 5d correct why we are taking this type because the temperature is present in ap arithmetic progression and it follows some rule and that rule we have to decide okay is it clear now we know monday temperature is a tuesday temperature is a plus d wednesday a plus 2d thursday a plus 3d friday a plus 4d saturday a plus 5d now what the question says the question says that monday and saturday was monday plus saturday what is monday's temperature a what is saturday's temperature 5d so monday and saturday was 5 degree more than some of the temperature of tuesday and saturday what is tuesday what is the temp yes monday plus saturday monday plus saturday's temperature is equal to 5 5 degrees more na 5 plus will come plus will come tuesday plus saturday correct sanskriti i think now you understood properly okay so in this way i have written a is what monday 5d is what a plus 5d is what saturday means monday's temperature plus saturday's temperature is equal to 5 plus 5 plus tuesday temperature plus saturday temperature correct now substitute the value okay substitute the value so it will be like this way 2a plus 5d is equal to 5 plus 2a plus 6d because d plus 5d is 6 okay so 6d plus 5d is equal to minus 5 is it clear okay come to now 6d is equal to minus 5 also the temperature of wednesday was minus 30 degrees celsius it was given it was given or given a plus 2d is what minus 30 a plus 2 in place of d substitute the value of d it becomes 5 to the 10 means 
minus 10. Take minus 10 to the right side. It will become there plus. So A is what? A becomes minus 20. A is what? Minus 20. Correct? In this way, you can find out all the temperature. Substitute in temperature Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay? Are you agree? Yes or no? You are agree? Okay.